Bonjour, c'est madame. Comment allez-vous aujourd'hui? Moi, je vais bien, merci. Okay, so today we are going to start taking a look at um, some new vocab. Chapitre 10, vocab numéro 3, à la gare. À la gare? We should already know that means at the train station. We oui, à la gare. So uh, we're going to uh, look at some vocabulary of things that you would do um, if you are going on a trip, um, traveling by train, right? So um, this actually, this vocab set is in a specific order because it actually kind of, we're going to walk you through the process of what you would do, right? If you were um, going to uh, travel by train. So, on y va. Here we go. Oh, let me back up. Voila. Okay, d'accord. All right. So, first we have on fait la queue. On fait la queue. Yeah. We make a line or one makes a line or we're lining up. Okay. Is another way to say that. We, you've probably heard me use this before in class, maybe a little bit when we were playing a game, right? I'll say, okay, fait la queue, you know, line up, make the line, right? Um, and I don't know if you are familiar with British English, but in, um, they, in Great Britain, they uh, oftentimes don't say line up, they will say that people are queuing up, right? Okay. Um, so, and that comes from um, the French, actually. So, of la queue. So, on fait la queue. Um, all right. Bon, on continue. J'achète un billet au guichet. J'achète un billet au guichet. Okay, so... Um, J'achète un billet au guichet. I'm buying a ticket at the ticket window. Okay. So, j'achète, we've seen that before. I buy or I am buying. And then, un billet is a ticket. And then, au guichet means O is at the. And then, guichet is ticket window. Okay. Oui. Uh, j'achète un billet au guichet. Right. So, you can do this, of course. You can go and like buy a ticket at the ticket window, right? Um, however, of course, nowadays, um, it's also super common that people will just buy their tickets in advance online. So, oui. Okay, on continue. Il achète et il lit un magazine. Il achète et il lit un magazine. So, he buys, il achète, that should look familiar. Et il lit, he reads. Un magazine, yeah. So, un magazine, pretty easy. That's a cognate, right? Okay. Um, just don't forget, don't get it confused with un magasin. Un magasin is a store. Un magazine is a magazine. Okay. So, they have in train stations, you know, kind of just like at airports here in the U.S., you know, they'll have little um, stands and little um, things where you could buy you know, magazines or snacks or, you know, uh, books or things like that. Okay, next sentence. Elle achète et elle mange un goûter. Elle achète et elle mange un goûter. So she buys and she eats a snack. Un goûter is a snack. All the rest of this should look familiar. We should know all that. Un goûter. Okay, il achète et il boit une boisson. Il achète et il boit une boisson. Yeah, so he buys and he drinks. Il boit is he drinks. And then une boisson is a beverage. Mm. Il porte des valises. So he carries suitcases. Yeah, do you remember port from our clothing unit? Il porte des valises. Oh, sorry about that. Um, anyways, do you remember port from our clothing unit? Yeah, port, that verb, um, means carry, uh, but it also means wear, like clothing, right? Which kind of makes sense to me because if you're wearing clothing, it's like you're carrying it around on your body, right? Me. So, um, il porte, he carries, and then des valises, suitcases, or une valise, singular, is a suitcase, right? And um, it's not used all that often, but valise, uh, uh, that is Il actually... Il porte des valises. Oh, zut, désolé, sorry. Um, but yeah, 
valise is actually used in English to mean like a suitcase or a, a case. So, oui. Okay, next. Je regarde le panneau de départ et d'arrivée. Je regarde le panneau de départ et d'arrivée. So, I look at that. We should know that already. Le panneau is the sign. De départ et d'arrivée, of departures and arrivals, okay? So, I'm going to kind of zoom in on this a little bit, or try to. Oui? When you go to the train station, you're going to look for, you know, these big screens like this, okay? Um, and it's kind of a little blurry. I don't know if you can see it or not, but up here it says, départ, grande ligne. Okay, so departures, grande ligne, that's like the, um, literally means big lines, but that means like the, um, usually like the fast trains, okay? So those are like the trains that are going pretty far away, right? Um, as opposed to over here, we have départ, Ile de France. Um, this is the, a region, Ile de France, okay? So departures for the Ile de France region, right? These are trains that are going uh, nearby, right? So maybe only like a 30 minute or an hour, maybe, um, or maybe even less, maybe only like a 15 minute train trip, right? Okay. And then here we have arrivé, grande ligne. So arrivals for the big lines, okay, right? And so when you come here and you look at these, what you're going to say, see is um, they're going to have the um, time of departure okay and this is the city where the end at the end at the very end where you're going to wind up okay so coulement chalindre right and then these other little words underneath here are other cities where actually this train is going to make some stops along the way okay and then over here in this square, this number 10 is actually the number of the platform where you are going to go to get on that train. Okay, so this train is leaving from platform number 10, right? Okay. Um, if you have a train here, like um, this one to Nancy or this way to Saint Dizier or Strasbourg, um, if you have a line like these, and they don't have these other city names underneath them, that means that it's a direct train and it's just going straight there and it's not making any stops along the way. So um, you can also find, they'll have posted on here, you know, if, um, uh, especially here for arrivé, you know, if it's on time or late or, you know, things like that as well. Okay, bon, on continue. Je composte le billet. Je composte le billet. I timestamp the ticket. Okay, so here's another thing that I'm going to kind of try to zoom in on a little bit. Oui. Um, okay, so in train stations in France, what you do is you get your ticket, and then before you get on the train, they have these little yellow um, kiosk type things where you insert your ticket um, and it'll timestamp it um, right before you get on the train. And um, it's important to do that because Later on, when you're on the train, um, they will actually check to make sure that you've done that. So, je composte, timestamp. Je composte le billet. Okay, elle va OK. She goes to the platform. O means to the, and then K is the platform, right? So, here, for example, in this little picture, we have um, the platform right here, right? And then you see the train over here. So this is platform number one on this side. If you had a train over here on this side, that's for platform number two, right? Okay. Um, kind of think like Harry Potter, right? Elle va OK. On attend le train. On attend le train. Yeah, one waits for or we wait for the train, right? Okay. Yep, sometimes, you know, Maybe they're running a little late. On attend le train. You gotta wait for it. Il rate le train. Uh oh, il rate le train. So he's missing the train. Yeah, so um, we've already seen the verb rat. We've seen this before with our school vocab, actually. Uh oh, 
Zoot, I'm sorry, it's going to say it. Oh, maybe not. Woohoo! Anyways, um, le train. So we've seen this with our school vocab, rat, um, meaning like, je rate un examen, meaning like, I'm, I fail, I'm failing this test. I'm failing the test. Je rate un examen, right? Okay. Uh, or je rate un cours. I'm failing a class, right? Okay. So rate, yeah, can also mean to miss, okay? Um, which kind of makes sense because if you are, failing a class or failing a test it's like you're missing the mark right yeah so here rat le train you're missing the train right but if you don't miss the train je monte le train je monte le train i get on the train right okay je monte so you're getting on getting in the train je cherche un siège je cherche un siège so je cherche, we've known cherche for a long time. That should look familiar. And then un siège is a word for a seat. Uh, sometimes in trains, they have assigned seats. Um, and in some trains, it's just kind of wherever you want to go. It just kind of depends on the train. Um, if you're taking, usually if you're taking like a longer trip, that's when they have uh, assigned seats because you know, they have first class or second class, things like that. Okay, next sentence. La contrôleuse contrôle les billets. La contrôleuse contrôle les billets. So the conductor, that's la contrôleuse, or if it's a male, it would be le contrôleur. Uh, contrôle, checks, and then les billets, the tickets, right? So how it works is, you timestamp your ticket, right? Compose le billet, right? Then you get on the train and the train takes off. And then as you're going along sometime during the trip, the controllers or controller will come along and they will ask to see your ticket and um, to make sure that you actually did indeed buy a ticket for, and you know, you timestamped it and everything that, um, you to make sure that you paid to uh, be on the train, right? And um, if you don't, if you because it does happen where people will try to sneak on trains without buying a ticket, um, if you've done that, you um, will face um, some pretty steep fines and also perhaps some jail time. So gotta be careful, don't do that. Okay, next sentence. Elle descend le train, elle descend le train. Savadier, she's getting off the train, right? Like she's descending from the train, right? Getting off the train. Elle descend le train. Okay, last one. Il cherche son ami. Il cherche son ami. Savadier, he looks for or he's like picking up his friend, right? So you could go to the train station to um, maybe you have a friend coming in who's arriving at the train station and you go to the train station pour chercher ton ami. So you go to look for your friend, 